Well, hey there, everybody. Uh, Monty Eggers here, the Cast Iron Marketer. It's a beautiful um, Saturday morning in May here in western Wisconsin. And today I'm going to attempt to do some uh, Mountain Man breakfast uh, for the very first time outside in a camp Dutch oven. I had picked up at a local uh, camping store last week for like a really good deal. It was like uh, marked at $99 and I picked it up for like $35. So it was really a really good uh, bargain for me last week. So um, so uh, right now I got my, uh, let's see what you can see here, I got my charcoal going. And uh, there's the Dutchie and we'll just get the coals nice and hot. And um, I'll show you the next step. So hopefully this turns out. Wish me luck. All right, so my coals are nice and ready, I believe. They've been uh, cooking for about uh, oh, 15 minutes or so. so. I just got this little portable um, fire ring here. So I'll just dump them out here. One hand today. Luckily, I have a gravel driveway in, in, in the middle of town here. Alright, so get some of that ash out there for now. Now I uh, picked up um, this oven came with a, um, a how-to book and so I was reading in the contents it was saying about how many charcoal briquettes to use so you take your diameter of your dutchy uh, your dutch oven this is a 12 inch uh, multiply it by two so it'll be about 24 coals and it said if you're using a deep uh, oven which this is to add about uh, three to four coals I believe so we'll do 27 and uh, we'll put um, nine on nine on bottom, and uh, the rest on top. So let's just do uh, let's do this here. Let's cut them out. Let's see. Uh, I wonder if I just should do it in here. I guess be a little more safer, I suppose. Make a little bit of a ring around here. Okay. Hopefully, this has got a nice deep side. I can kind of push them up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, so I got my nine coals on there, so we'll place this guy right on top and warm up just for a few minutes. And we're gonna do bacon today. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you in the next step. All right, I changed it up a little bit. I decided to add a little bit more coal because I want to get this bacon nice and hot here. So I don't want to do a good, good 15 plus uh, charcoals on that. So. We'll see if that, that uh, gets the trick done here. First time doing this, so trial and error, right? Right, so I'm as I'm waiting for this Dutch oven to warm up a little bit. Uh, one thing I did buy was uh, the little trivet stand right there. So uh, you can use it to uh, put your lid on there uh, for when you're stirring up your food. Uh, also, I guess you can flip it upside down and place the lid on top of that and you can um, fry eggs and uh, other pan pancakes, I guess, and it is a little bit of a concave to it, but uh, we'll see what happens when I, uh, if I ever need to be using that in that situation. So, also got myself a nice pair of tongs if you didn't see already. Picked them up at like Home Depot for like five bucks. Super, super cheap. So yeah, let's, uh, this has been going for about uh, two or three minutes now. So let's add this bacon. Oh, and this little hood lifter here. All right. So she's nice and smoking. 
And this is about a pound, pound and a half of bacon, maybe a little bit more. All right, so my bacon is finally starting to cook down. I uh, <laughs> took a little bit longer than what I expected, about a good half hour, which was kind of surprising because I dumped all the coals that I had out uh, and then put them underneath. So it's cooking down. So what I'll do next is I'll add the onions and bell pepper. And... All right, so the bacon took a lot longer than what I anticipated. It took about a half hour to fry down. I had uh, taken all the coals from the chimney there and um, I placed them underneath just to get that thing rocking. So, like I said, it took a little bit longer, uh, but this is, like I said, all trial and error. So now I got a new uh, set of coals going because these ones are about to die anyway. So I'll add the potatoes and um, put those new coals on there and then we'll see what happens after that. So now I'm going to add the potatoes in here. About three potatoes. Give that a good stir. Now I, my new coals, I dumped them out. And I've got uh, eight coals on the bottom. And now we're going to bake this thing. And I believe. Uh, we're going to be putting about 17 coals on top here. And I'll shift these coals over here. Those ones are kind of dead. Maybe I can salvage a couple out of there, but get this nice and even here. I'll cook the potatoes for a little bit. salvage some of these guys out of here. So. These are nice hot coals here. All right, so I got 17 coals on top there, roughly um, added a few more. So I probably got uh, 20 or 21 on there. And um, it's been baking for about 10 minutes. I'll check it here in about another 10, see what the potatoes are doing. And then I'll um, add uh, about six or eight eggs after that. Okay, so I went ahead and I uh, rotated the lid and the Dutch oven in opposite directions. And so I'm gonna check the potatoes now. It's been about I suppose about a good 15 minutes here. So let's get it. Yeah, they're getting socked up. So I'm gonna go um, get the eggs ready and pour the eggs in and let that cook for another 15 minutes. Alright, so got my eggs whipped up. So let's see what we're doing here. I'm just gonna pour those guys right over on top evenly. It's about eight eggs there. Let's see here. Just gonna stir them up a little bit. They get to the bottom. Definitely have enough bacon. <laughs> So a few things I've learned so far would be uh, um, make sure you got enough coals going on and uh, 
patience is a virtue for sure. So we'll put the lid back on this guy. Check it in about uh, another 10, 15 minutes. Maybe 10, and then uh, hopefully we can add the cheese. All right, so the eggs are looking pretty good. So let's give it a little touch. As they're hardening up, they're getting nice and firm. So I'm just gonna sprinkle on some cheese here. I got about a cup and a half or so of Monterey Jack. Um, one thing I did do, which you didn't see on camera, because uh, my phone decided to um, I had too much storage used up on my phone, so I had to go and take care of some things, so I wasn't able to uh, record what I was doing. But I did add a little bit of pepper, and um, just to give it a little bit of season, you know, some taste. So we'll let this sit on here for about uh, another 10 minutes, maybe less, hopefully, because I'm getting really hungry. And uh, yeah, so we'll check back in a little bit. Alright, so it's been about 20 minutes, I suppose, since I added the cheese. I just wanted to make sure that it, uh, it was all nice and melted. Since my coals are burning down, you can kind of see the ash just, you know, forming on the, the lid and the bottom. I did add a couple more coals uh, from my uh, uh, my charcoal chimney, and so just to make sure I had enough heat. So let's see what happens and what this baby looks like. Not too bad, I guess. We'll just kind of see how the firmness is on this cheese. Oh yeah. So I got a couple of plates over here and let's place them up and uh, give it a little bit of a test here. If I can do this while holding my phone and the plate at the same time. Alright. Just pull away. Oh, yeah. Nice and firm. I can't uh, I made this once before in the, in the uh, Dutch oven in my house. Just on the stove, the regular the regular Dutch oven I have. So Right, yeah, looks pretty good. Not sticking to the bottom, nothing looks burnt, so pretty happy. I guess total cook time is, uh, uh, besides prepping, I, I guess maybe almost a couple hours, I guess, but yeah, that's how you learn. You could probably speed things up by doing different things, so it's, uh, here you have it. So hopefully, you learn, uh, I was able to heat to something. I learned a lot of things, obviously, and, um, yeah, so. I'm going to turn the camera around. Hopefully you can see me here. So, uh, like I said, it's just a beautiful May morning here in uh, western Wisconsin. Hopefully I'm not chopping my head off or nothing. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, look me up on Facebook, uh, uh, Cast Iron Cooking with Monty Akers. And, and so, um, hopefully uh, you, you can leave a comment below if you liked it. And uh, if you have any suggestions for me, I'd be open to hearing them. And and is trying other ways to maybe make this process a little bit faster. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.